we have this consciousness thing, and maybe we both agree it's just an illusion. I mean, our perception of it. It's just an illusion. It's just a manufactured thing of our brain. But like Einstein might say, it's one hell of an illusion. So it doesn't really matter that it's just something our brain creates as something we think. Therefore, it is. No. Just because we think it is doesn't mean it is is. And so consciousness itself has no substance. But it's the most substantive, non-substantive thing in the universe. So I'm still saying suffering matters. I'm just saying it's all just something that's manufactured as an illusion inside of a consciousness. And the consciousness itself is an illusion. We have an organism DNA, our whole colony, the whole machine. The blueprint is to build one of us. And it's really good at doing that. It's been building machines a long time. Also remember too that all the changes that take place are just a function of errors. There has to be an error first, so we don't copy ourselves properly. There we have evolution through that process, through not making exact copies. Let's put it that way, through some sort of mistake being made in the new construction. The new construction is somehow not what the old constructions were. We hit the wall of the evolution in the sense that our brain is capable. It's a functional tool. And now what has to evolve is the intelligent memes, the ideas, the knowledge base is now evolving. So this is another theme I'm always preaching on, is that it's a completely different evolution. New evolution is by different rules. The brain is built to do reasoning, to be rational, to glean the truth, to solve puzzles, and to solve them accurately. It's not built to solve them inaccurately. So over time, our knowledge base is going to be gleaned by that mind, that brain, that has a prejudice towards reality. So over time we will become realists and our knowledge base will become more and more accurate as we glean out the crap, the delusions, the false notions. Unfortunately though, now we're stuck because if we look at the puzzle of our own existence, you know, if we intellectually look at the puzzle, the maze, we're stuck because you're going to try to say that somehow the maze is doing something. It's a car. The maze is going to get up and zoom somewhere. It's going to turn into a transformer. You know, the maze is going to turn into a transformer and fly through the universe and go cock-a-doodle-doo. And no, it's not going to do that. The maze is just sitting there. The only game in town is what the, the innards are doing, the guts. The guts are the only thing playing the maze, the little pieces. They're the only thing with any incentives, with any built-in structure. It's not applicable to a car. There's no DNA for the maze. It's the function there's no instrumentation that requires the maze itself to function in any way whatsoever. So it won't. The entire thing is a byproduct, not of some force building the maze, but of that consumption and reproduction built the maze. That's the origin of the maze. And so there's nothing to make the maze do anything. It's only intent to consume and reproduce the little creatures inside the maze. The parts are more important than the maze. The maze is not going anywhere. The maze is not thinking. The maze is not a brain. The maze is not a thing. It's not an organ like a liver to some greater beastie. It's just not. No evidence of that. It's not doing anything. It's not functional. It's only the parts that have any meaning. And that's our dilemma. We're now smart enough to look at the maze and say, pretty inefficient engine put in about seven zillion gallons of gasoline and it burns everything up in friction and bullshit and crap. It's just going to burn up in blood and guts and pain and misery and suffering and you'll have this little bit of ah moments, these little perfect ah moments for this huge volume of value put in to the maze. If it was some other creature, an alien species, and you were the god looking over the maze and saying, I see most of them are living in shit, miserable lives, tons of work, broken backs, cut off fingers, dying coal mine, this, that, cancer, horror, misery, suffering. Yes, they're butt-fucking each other a little, having some fun. If it was your game, if you were responsible for it, you didn't have any personal attachment, I don't think you'd have much of a problem saying, let's close that experiment down. That's my argument. One motherfucking sick fucking experiment. The greatest delusion of all the delusions in this whole mush is the delusion that we have something to accomplish in the universe. There's nothing to do but scratch our itches.